teaching assistants have not received their monthly stipends and the Educators Union of South Africa is demanding that the Basic Education Department honour its obligations. For more on this, I'm joined now by André de Brain, who is the National Media Executive for the Educators Union of South Africa. Very good afternoon uh, to you, Mr. de Brain, and thank you for your time. Now, you, you'll remember that uh, the Department of Basic Education embarked on a drive to, to try and get about 300,000 teaching assistants to come on board. Uh, tell us why it was important for uh, the Department of Basic Education to do this. Yeah, you see, um, hello everybody, hello to all your listeners and your viewers. Um, the initiative was part of um, President Cyril Ramaphosa's Youth Empowerment uh, Plan or initiative, and they basically employed uh, 319,000 um, people, uh, or young people, to become school assistants to help within this um, critical time within education. So um, that was part of, of his youth empowerment and employment initiative and plan. Um, a wonderful plan. Unfortunately, there were just glitches in, 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 in the whole process, as you said now. And, and talk to us about some of those glitches. What was the original agreement? What was the original arrangement? And what is transpiring now, the situation that you find yourselves in? Yeah, um, you see, they uh, are on a three-month um, contract, and um, they were supposed to start earning a stipend of three and a half thousand rand in um, in and about the twenty-second of December. That did not happen um, because it. Um, some people. Let, let, let me exp uh, just make examples of two um, provinces quickly. Um, Kuzula Natal. Um, they were told they're going to be paid on the 22nd, and nothing, nothing happened. The law, nothing. The people were sent from pillar to post, and um, they were told that um, the department is working like in day and night to rectify the mistake. If you look at, uh, at the Eastern Cape, for example, um, only the of 23,681 of the 50,540. Um, Teachers' assistants were paid for December, leaving us um, roughly about six, 26,000 were left unpaid. The Eastern Cape spokesperson for education said that the glitch came because of the faulty, um, faulty information that was given through. So, and, and wrong information that was given through. We don't know where those faulty information was given to if it was at the schools or at the district offices or provincial or whatever, but it is as it is, and um, they still need to be paid. Um, there was they were said that they're going to be paid in January, and according to my knowledge, up to this point, nothing happened yet. So, so where do you stand now? That faulty information that the department says that they received has that been rectified? Do they now have? The, the correct information and what exactly are they talking about? Are they talking about the yes. assistant's personal details? Are they talking about details pertaining to the talking. schools? Um, in my opinion, they're talking about the details of the the person or the individuals themselves. Um, that is what I take from this whole discussion. But um, you see, we need much more or much stronger leaders in education and in the education sector because um, we have grown used to accepting mediocre performances from our, um, let, let's call it Department of Education. Um, we, we, we need much stronger impetus and much stronger um, involvement of all role, role, role players in, our, in all this whole process, in all the processes um, pertaining to education because we cannot just sit around and allow whoever makes the, the, the decisions to just do with us as they please. And um, that is um, Educators Union of South Africa. We have a strong stance in not only accepting um, these type of things and now also with the, the postponement of the reopening of schools, 
um, we have very strong opinions and very strong stances on that. And we believe that we need much stronger, can I say, unions between between inverted commas to, 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 to fight for the people on the front line, the teachers. Teachers are dying. Learners, learners are exposed. Communities are affected. And um, now these uh, people not being paid as well. I mean, how would you feel not getting your money three days before Christmas when they said they, that you're going to be paid? So we need to, you know, draw a line in the sand and say, up to this point, and from now on, there must be consultations with all registered trade unions, and we need to sit around the table, and we need to walk through things that influences the people on the front line. So when are these uh, teachers' assistants going to be getting their money, according to the department? Have you been given a date? Have you been given a month? Um, I have... We have not been given a date or month. The only thing that we have heard was that, um, like I said, they are working around the clock to rectify the mistake. Um, we know that uh, there's been conversations with Treasury to make the money available um, for these teachers' assistants. And um, hopefully, hopefully, with program yours and uh, more pressure on, 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 on the Department of Education, these teachers' assistants will be paid promptly if they have not been paid already because I do not, um, I did not receive that new as of this moment yet. Mm. But before I let you go, and I see our line is starting to compromise us, what is the status quo now regarding uh, the salary increments for 2021 as far as the teachers are concerned? What, what is the latest on that? Um, we, there is no money that is, um, we've been told through the grapevine. Educators Union of South Africa is a trade union, a uh, registered trade union, but we are, like I said, um, not always involved in the decision-making processes because of some technicality, um, which is um, 37 and a half and, uh, members. But we represent and we, we feel that we need to be there. Um, you see, let's take... Let, let me take you back to, to last year. Last year, we had a lockdown. Teachers had to sit and prepare and teach online. They had to do their work via WhatsApp, via, via Classroom, or all those different um, platforms. The Department of Education did not provide any teacher with any money administratively to keep learning going. Teachers had to use their own data, they had to use their own Wi-Fi, they had to use their own resources from their pockets to keep learning and the momentum of learning going. Now we're saying, why not, why not really um, see to it that teachers are compensated for the efforts that they put in it's good and well to say, thank you for the efforts, you made a success, but there's been an agreement, a three-year agreement, and it was it was found that it, um, government found a loophole, and, and there's no increment at this stage. Uh, but teachers are bearing the brunt of this. Some teachers are really having a, 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 a difficult time because of the fact that um, the medical age went up. Why didn't government say, Medical aides, we're not going to be able to 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 um, give them an increment. Leave your uh, your 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 payments or your premiums the same. So this one guy uh, that I know said his salary went down one thousand eight hundred rand just because of the increase in his medical aid. So teachers again are bearing the brunt of let me put put like this of bad management between inverted commas. Um, and they are on the front line. They are front line workers, and teachers need to be valued, and they need to, need to be treated professionally like all other professionals out there, and that is the stance of you. So we need to be treated better. Andre, thank you so much for painting uh, the picture for us, a rather grim picture uh, for, as you said, our front line workers 
Um, and uh, we certainly will be keeping abreast as to the developments uh, regarding uh, the teachers, these, um, you know, teachers who have not yet been paid the education assistance as well. That's